Okay. You know, I didn't mind that you got the relativity thing wrong. I didn't, as I commented, I didn't, you know, I had no intention of jumping on that. But I, now I see how you react and just call on it bullshit and you have several commenters in the thread I'm planning to apply this to saying the only way it could be obvious, just pedantic to point out objective reality. Well, isn't that surprising? Not. That the objectivists are the ones that say, oh, we don't care about the details. It's always the objectivists that want to go with common sense and bullshit like that, things everybody already knows, and basic physics classes and stuff like this that are just totally fucking wrong. And they always want to go with that instead of the reality. We're talking about relativity. I'm saying that physical relativity tells us how relativity is going to, is going to work in other domains. And you can't ad admit how physical relativity works. You should be going, really? It doesn't appear the double the speed of light? What? Huh? Let me learn more about this. If you're so into objective reality, this is what you guys call objective reality. Things like these experiments that prove physical relativity. And you're just not interested. Don't tell me you're interested in objective reality. These objectivists are always interested in your own common sense. In saying that your own common sense is objective. That's why you need objectivity. There is no foundation for objectivity, but there is a use for it. Okay? The use is so that you can think you're perfectly correct when you're not. And this turns out to be a case in point. Now, you know, I don't mind that you got it wrong. Big deal. I think it's a great opportunity. It's, it's a very interesting thing to, to realize. It's a very interesting thing to wrap your head around and try and understand, wait, how could this be? How could it not seem like twice the speed of light? How can I be going half the speed of light and shine a flashlight off the front of my spaceship and the light's still going full speed instead of half speed in front of me? And the answer is relativity, but you're not interested. Well, it's objectivity. I thought you're so interested in objectivity. Aren't you forced to follow objectivity and figure out the meaning of every objective fact? Well, this is one of your objective facts. Why is it that the skeptics can achieve more uh, of these objective facts than you objectivists? Why, why, why? I'll tell you why. It's because we're willing to consider, con continually reconsider uh, our knowledge. And as a result, we do reconsider, and as a result, we learn, and as a result, we spend less time uh, on any given mistake. Yeah, we still have mistakes. We admit we have mistakes right now. You won't admit that. We admit that, so we'll move on to the next truth when it comes along as well. And you won't. You won't have to. You already know. 